hello guys today i am going to share with you what are the new requirements and how you can apply for green health court to enter in china so without wasting your time let's start this video from 1st feb 2021 all the passengers who want to travel to china must upload these documents to apply for green health court or certified health declaration the first and very important thing is vaccination certificate including product name manufacturer date of vaccination and issuance institute second thing is negative nuclei acid and hemoglobin migm antibody test all those passengers who received the covid 19 vaccination outside china and are flying to china via third country must apply for the health code in advance from the chinese embassy in the place of their departure the health codes will be issued after the verification and consideration of the submitted documents now i want to tell the answers of all those very asking questions and which you should know before flying to china whether passengers who have received covid 19 vaccination can avoid quarantine after entering china so the answer is no at present all the passengers flying to china are required to be quarantined for medical observation and tested at the port if passengers fail to provide vaccination certificates could they apply for green health codes Passengers could not apply for green health codes if they have received COVID-19 vaccination without obtaining the vaccination certificates. Passengers who have received COVID-19 vaccination need to take IgM antibody test if they are flying to China. Who have received COVID-19 vaccinations must take nuclei acid and IgM antibody test before departure. No matter what the IgM antibody test result is, positive or negative, the passenger must upload the vaccination certificate. This is how you can upload the vaccination certificate. There is the option of have you got a COVID-19 vaccination in the online health declaration code application system to upload the vaccination certificate. After selecting yes, then select the manufacturer of the vaccines you have been injected with and the time of your vaccination shot. And the last thing you need to upload a vaccination certificate which cannot exceed 10 megabytes. I hope this video helpful for you, like it and subscribe for more informative videos.